Hello, hello everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. I have been in vested or investigating really uh Dragon's Dogma 2. And uh so I've been playing Dragon's Dogma 1 on Xbox in the evenings just trying it out seeing seeing if it was a game that I would like and stuff and while I have my criticisms Overall, I've been enjoying it, and Dragon's Dogma 2 looks so good. But again, been hesitant because, you know, I don't want to go and buy a game that I'm not sure if I'll like. However, Capcom released a, a the character creator only for free download on Steam. I don't know if it's available on console. It might be. But don't quote me on that because I haven't looked into it and I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just know that on PC, on Steam, it is there is a free download. So, I downloaded it. And I already made my main character for the game. And I made my main pawn. But we're going to go into it and because you can make up to five characters. Now, you can't transfer all of them into the game. But... I like that it gave us the option to make five different characters, so I figured that we'll do that today. We'll make a character. We might also go in and, um, I think I want to edit my main pawn because she doesn't look the way I want her to look. So, yeah. But anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to make, I've seen people make, uh, their Dragon Age Origins, uh, Warden. Their Grey Warden. I've seen people make Siri from The Witcher. I uh, just recently saw someone make Ada Wong from the Mass Effect series, and I saw someone make Male Shepard from Mass Effect. So there's like all kinds of stuff that you could do in this character creator. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go in. We might try to make a vampire character because I've saw I saw someone make a vampire looking character. So we might do that. We'll see though. But windowed full screen, I think, is what I have it on. So hopefully you guys can see it. Alright, I'll turn my controller on. Okay. So. Character creator. Um. So I, so this is my main character right here. This is my main No, where'd my pawn go? <gasps> She's not there. This isn't the one I wanted. Where'd she go? <gasps> what? That's not good. I don't know what happened to my, 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 my main pawn. I'm gonna have to recreate her then. That sucks. All right, so I just want to show you guys my main my main girl here. She's a little too upright. I feel like I need to change that. Let's see. Where's the posture? So you see the character creator here. It has a whole bunch of stuff. Your torso length, your muscle. Like, I've seen people make some really crazy characters. Uh, just for the hell of it. <laughs> All right, so posture, she's a little. I mean, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. Okay. Um, finalize, okay. I have her as an archer because I personally like the archer. I've been having a, a, a ton of fun with being a strider and now I switched my character to, cause you can change your vocation in the game, um, which is really nice. What is she? She's an archer. I don't remember. I think she's an advanced strider. I can't remember what I changed her vocation to. <laughs> but this is my main character, guys. All right.
Um, create new character. We need to recreate my pawn, who I was trying to create. There she is. Oh, the pawns are in a different section. Oh. Okay. I, was, I thought we lost her, guys. I thought we lost her. All right, so her fur is fine. So I'm trying to... So I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the Thundercats, the 80s cartoon, the Thundercats. Uh, that's what I grew up on. It was my favorite cartoon back in the day. Um, Chitara is awesome. But the problem with Chitara is I want to recreate her and at the same time... I want to um, modernize her a little bit and um, head. We got to change her head, I think. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what I wanted. Um... Uh, my character's gotta look like a total badass and bad. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. But I love this hairstyle. I love this hairstyle. But I gotta change the color because, if I remember correctly, Chitara has an orangey hair because she's all orange and red and black kind of thing. She's orange and black, so that's what I'm going with. It's like I'm trying to go with orange and black. Um, except I don't think Chitara has spots. But I gave uh, so, but I gave her spots. <laughs> um, head width. Maybe I guess. I uh, I gotta change her eyes. Is what I, I think I need to change her eyes. Her eyes are. Where are her eyes? What is her posture? Gotta move it up. Um. So I guess closer down is more feminine, and then higher up is more masculine. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I really do. I don't understand the elbow angle angle thingy and the knees so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna keep her posture where it is because it looks fine okay all right we're, we're good we're good I don't remember if Chitara had a butt I don't think she did not really because it was the 80s I could make her get I could give her a little bit bigger of a butt Let's see. Not that big. Go down just a little bit. There we go. Alright, waist size. I don't know. I think she looks good. I think she looks fine. Looks pretty. She just needed a little bit bigger of an ass. <laughs> okay. Alright, base head. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with the one I chose, I guess. Um. Yeah, this game is very detail for specific. Like some of this stuff, I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> All right, eye height. I want to change her shape. See, that's the one thing they don't have is the sh a shape of the eye. The angle. There we go. There's a little bit of an angle. Okay. That works. Um, I don't remember. I should look up Chitara. Because I don't actually know. <laughs> I can't remember. There she is. Okay. Let me see. 
So she's got blue makeup. She does have spots, but she has spots in her hair and on her left arm. Um, I don't know if I can recreate the makeup though. I can try. I can try. I don't think, I don't know if makeup is, it is an option for the beasties. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. Um, she's got a smaller nose. Her eyes are definitely smaller. So we'll make them smaller. Okay. Maybe not that small. Right, right there. Her nose is smaller. Okay, so we gotta work on her nose. Okay. The bump? There's a bump? I don't know. <laughs> Nostril height? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we can probably keep that. That's as about as far as we can go with that. Yeah, because Chitara has a small nose. Tip angle? What does that mean? Oh, okay. We'll leave it where it was. Okay. She has yellow hair. So she's like a yellow and orange. Okay. I think I can. And black. Yellow, orange, and black. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do with the hair. Ears. I can't see Chitara's ears. <laughs> In these pictures. It doesn't really show. But we're going to leave her ears the way they are. Her cheeks are more narrow. What would that be? That would be... Not that I can see it very well. Cheek depth. I... Maybe. Cheek bulge. Oh, that's a whole different thing. Okay. Okay. Alright. I think we're getting a little closer. <laughs> Chitara also has a small mouth. I did not realize that she had such a small mouth. Okay, there we go. We don't want to make it super small. Because she is a cat. Protrusion. I mean, I don't... I mean, maybe corners. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So kind of give her a smile. Whisker position. Chitara doesn't even have whiskers. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with that. Lower lip position. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that works. That works. What else did we... Okay, so we're good there. Jaw definite. I don't know. Make it a little thinner. I mean, to be fair, Chitara looked more human than she did cats. So... This is definitely going to be a, a compromise. Chin height. Yeah, a little bit longer of a chin. Ch Chitara definitely has a, a longer chin. It's thinner. There we go. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. All right, I, I think I think that's good. All right, we need to figure out the color. Cause I am struggling with the color. 
So she's got like a yellowish, orangey type. Ugh, keep doing that. See, that's a red. No. This is probably the closest. See the so so this is one nitpick that I have with the character creator in this game. The reds are not red red. There's no vibrant light bright red. Um the oranges are a little off. They look more brown than orange. Um there's no yellow. So like there, there's well, is there yellow? There's yellow here. Oh, there's a, it's kind of yellow, but it's too white. It's more white than yellow. It's yeah, it's more white than yellow. Oh, here we go. There's a yellow. But we don't want it to go super yellow. Oops. That's a nice yellow. I like I like that. I like the yellow. But I feel like we need to go. I wish the blend was better too. The blend is not very good. You kind of have to go with the same color. Whoa. Let me see. Okay. I'm not really sure what that does. I like the sheen. I like to make hair look shiny. What do you guys think? You think you, you think she's okay with this color, or should we try to change it, make it more, more of an orange? But then she's all orange. <laughs> I just I think it's really cute. I can't put spots in her hair like Chitara has, but I gotta change her eyes. I think maybe. I think she looks really good. What do you guys think? Or we could do it backwards, right? We could do the 77 for the root color and try the blonde for the tip. We could do that. Let's try that just to see what it would look like. What was that, 77? And then 166. Where was that? Take it down a notch. It does. That does actually look nice. But should we lighten the tip? or darken it. I kind of like the 165. It, it seems to blend better. Out of shits and giggles, let's try a different one. Oh, that one's nice, too. Oh, you know what? I think I like this one better. Because it goes better with the color. Yeah, I... 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 I'm kind of liking the 132 over the 166. Because it seems to blend better. Like, if I, even if I brighten it a little, lighten it up a little bit. I don't know. I like the 132. Let's go with that for a minute. Oh my god, I, you know what? I think I really like that. I really like that.
All right, let's do... So that's at 77. No, we want it at 77. Yeah, I like that a lot. That is very nice. I just love this hairstyle, too. I saw this hairstyle, and I was like, oh, my God, this is a really, really cute... They, I will say this. They have a lot of really nice hairstyles. Uh, for the men and the women. And, um, and then they've got the... They've got other... They've got a variety of different types of hairstyles that are really, really nice. Okay. Green eyes. Okay. I can change her eyes. You know what? I don't even know. I think Chitara's eyes are blue, but we can change her eyes, I think. How do we... Is the color in here? Where are the colors? Where's the color of the eyes? Ah, there we are. Yeah, so I've been, uh, you know, she's not set in stone, obviously. I do have her with green. Okay, let's put her closer. Because, <laughs> um. What colors do we have here? Let's see, Th there's this green. There's, to go with that green. Ooh, that looks nice. And then... Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, hold on. Ooh, look at that green. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There's that green. Oh, I really like 169. That is really nice. It looks glossy. Can we shrink it down anymore? Although, I kind of want it to blend in with her spots. Because that would look really cool. I think that looks kind of cool. What do you guys think? Maybe it's too big, though. Oh, wrong way. Um... No, I want to go down and I want to go, no, I want to go, I want to go to the right. How do I go to the right? Although having it across her nose would be nice. Okay, hold on. Then there's the rotation and then there's a vertical scale, which I think it, I believe that's the size, the horizontal scale. There's also tiling, which gives you more than one scar. You can you can make more scars. That actually kind of looks cool. Or you could do, ooh, the horizontal one. There's one through her eye, and the other one. Ooh, I like that. But see, then I want the one through the nose. Oh, that would work. Oh, you know what? This actually kind of works. What do you guys think? I did the uh, horizontal tiling. And there's three scars. So she's got... You can't see it very well. But there's one on her... Um, what is it? This is the left. On her right eye. <laughs> uh, there's one through... I like this one. I like that. Nice, nice. There are, there are so many options. And then of course you can raise the intensity. Actually. Let, yeah, okay, okay. That, that 
kind of works. Huh. What does this do? What does this do? Oh, that raises the thing. Oh, okay, okay. That looks good. That looks really good. Well, I mean, scars, she's a warrior. So, you know, obviously I feel like she should have a couple of scars. <laughs> you know, fighting all them battles. She's on the front lines, you know. Let it be seen. Well, it is seen. The uh, Let's see. Intensity does that. Okay, so take it down and then it... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That works. That works. I like that. That is really nice. Okay. You know what else we forgot? I don't think there is makeup for the beasties. No. There... Wait, eye pattern? What is this? Face pattern. What's that? What does that mean? Oh! Oh, is that what that is? Oh, that's kind of cool. What is this? I have no idea. I, you know what? I think I might have to... Put it up a little bit. I like that one. That one looks good. That one looks very good. Yes. It does blend nicely, yeah. Cheek pattern. What does she have? I don't really see it. Cheek pattern. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's give her some spots. There we go. Nose pattern. Wait. Where's the nose? The nose is all the way up. Okay. Oh! Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay. Oh my god, she's looking, she's looking good, she's looking good. Oh, and did you know you can change the background? I just learned that. How do I do that? I forget. How do you change the background? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Where is it? I forget where it is. Oh, lighting. Oh, that's nice. But that's not what I was looking for. You can give her this. And this. I like this one. I also like this one. I like this one. Isn't that cool? Oh my god, she looks so good. She looks awesome. 
All right, so now we're going to jump into... We're just going to make another Arisen. This one is my main, obviously, but we're going to try to make a vampire. So, there is a vampire look. I'm trying to remember. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's actually really pretty. I think we'll go with this one. I... <laughs> That's not going to work. Is this the vampire one? Is this the vampire one? I don't know. Go with this one? Yeah, we're going to we're going to try to create a new character. I'm trying to go for a vampire. I'm trying to make a vampire. I'm just not sure. Oh, this one might work. Okay. Um... This one. Okay. <clears throat> feel like we want to she's got to be super pale I don't know if this is <laughs> which one oh that one that one's super pale okay We don't need wrinkles. She's a vampire. We'll do that. And no. Okay. The brow. No. We want to go that way. Okay. Eyes. All right, her angle needs to be this way. This way or like that? Um, let's see, let's see. I actually kind of like her eyes the way they are. Um, yeah, okay. Skin, the nose. I think the nose is fine. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. Um... Okay with this hair. 
But let's check out the other hair. So these are a lot of the hairs that we have. So there's the short hair. This is this is actually a cute. I'm not really a fan of short hair, but this is a cute. This is a really cute little bob. That that's it's very cute. Not for a vampire, for me. But yeah. This is also a cute hairstyle. This is a hairstyle that's in um uh ESO. Um That's too Betty from the 50s. <laughs> uh, that's really cute. Uh, that's, that's okay. This is another favorite hairstyle of mine that I really do like. I really like this one. It might fit a vampire. That would be cool. Okay, that one's cute. They have some pigtails here. I'm not really into the pigtail thing. But they're cute. This is the one that I have on my um, my main pawn. Oh, this is another cute one. They have a lot of really cute hairstyles, I will say. Much better than uh, <laughs> Dragon Age. <laughs> Dragon Age need to step up with the times and give us better hair. <laughs> this uh, this hairstyle is on my main character, so we won't be using that. But they also have an updo of it. And then they have all these. This is cute. And then I already have this on another character that I made. I still don't know how I feel about it. I, I typically love braids, but I don't know. I don't know. And then there's this one. Let's see. I am leaning towards this one. I'm leaning towards this one, guys. And I think we're gonna leave her with black hair because it's, you know, vampire, goth, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, we're gonna go all black. Sheen because 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 I can <laughs> all right eyebrows are fine No. All right, I think we're gonna stick with the <laughs> well, the one she came with. Let's take down a little bit. There we go. All 
All right, so this is where we're gonna do the vampire thing. Um, so in some lore, vampires, when like they're new, they have red eyes. In old Victorian lore, if you catch them in a light, their eyes are a violet color, right? Um, and then obviously in like, if you watch the Underworld series, when they're vamping out, their eyes turn like a super bright blue. I think for the context of the game, we might go with red, simply because it's the most prominent color. If I could find a red, that works. Let's see. First of all, let's try... Well, what if we make... Oh, oh, look at that! Interesting. I'm going to bring her a little closer to us. See, I'm not really liking the red. <laughs> I'm not re really liking the red. Oops. Or you know what, maybe I just have to change the color. Hold on. What if we did? Ooh, there we go. Look, what do you guys think? All right, and then we're gonna change that. I don't know what we're gonna change it to. It is creepy. <laughs> that looks really good, though. Holy hell. I mean, she looks, she looks very vamp vampiric. All right, so then there's the type one eyes. There's the type 2 eyes, which actually puts more black veins in her, black lines in her eye. Oh, that looks good. There's the blind. So, you know what? I'm going to go with, I don't know why, but type 2 eyes are just my favorite. I really like them. So we're going to go with that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Whoops. Whoops. No, we're going to take the eyes back down to where they were. Yeah, I think we're going to leave that. Okay. All right, eyelashes. Um length density because we love our eyelashes okay eyeliner the eyeliner's fine ooh that's even better oh my god that's even better 
What does the metallic do? Take that down a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Alright, so eyeshadow. All right, let's see what we have here. I don't know what color to do though. We could just go straight goth and do all black. Nah, we'll keep the color she's got. Okay, but we are gonna change the other one. Okay. Now this is the one she's got. Although that looks good too. Ooh, number three is nice. You know what, we're gonna go with number three. Number three looks good. That looks awesome, holy hell. She looks amazing. Very, very nice. Uh, lips. Um. Alright, five. And then we're gonna do, like, a red. Yeah, we're gonna do a red. We might change the eyeshadow to red too. I think that looks really, really good. <laughs> eh, we don't really need to mess with that. Okay. Let's go back to eyeshadow. We're gonna make a red. That's the best red, I think. Okay. Holy bloody tears, she looks like a succubus. <laughs> she looks like the female version of the doll from the Saw movies. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> now that you uh, said that, King, now I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, vampires don't really have tattoos, but we can, we can check it out. Let's see. All right. So these are, uh, tattoo presets. These are just the presets that you could just choose if you didn't want to like mess around with the tattoos. Ooh, that one's nice. Actually, that one's really nice. That one's also nice. Oh, I kind of like that one. That one's nice too. These are these are some nice um, presets. That actually looks cool on her face. The snakes look good on her face too. Actually, that looks really cool. <laughs> Nine and 10. Well, what do you think about this one? This one's 18. I don't know, I like the snakes on her face. 
It goes with her whole vibe. <laughs> I don't know if I can change the color, though. I don't know. I really like this one, King. I'm really liking the snakes. You like three-headed dog? Yeah, the dog, yeah. I think I'm gonna choose this one. 18. That looks good. <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can change the color, though. Like, because I was gonna make it a little darker, but... I don't think I can do that with the presets, which sucks. Okay. All right, so we got a... What else? What did we miss here? Uh, her body. We did. We did not... Um, I don't know where those lines came from, but okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, her height is fine. Orso's fine. <laughs> what is strap? What does that mean? Oh, that's what that means. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're good there. Upper body. Lower body. Okay. Um... Because it does look like she had the tattoo for a while. That is true. That is true. I, what does thickness mean? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna move them up a little bit. Make them a tad bigger. Not too big. Oh, that's the chest shape. Okay, so we want to do that. Um, I don't. I don't want to make her too big there. Okay. All right. So arms are fine. I don't really. Yeah, these are not things that I really mess with. Torso width. Ah, okay. Torso depth. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Alright, lower body. Waist size. The rear size. We always gotta give our ladies... Some cushion in the in the in the bottom there. At least I do, because I have a big butt, so I I appreciate being able to give my characters a larger derriere. <laughs> I also have some thick thighs. So we're gonna give her a little bit of thicker thighs there. Okay. Okay. Waist width. Did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. That goes that way. Okay. But the what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the upper body again. Okay. All right. Posture. Gonna make her more feminine. And I think that's a good walk. I don't think I wanna change that. That looks fine. Okay. I think we're good. And we're gonna make her a mage, I think. 
Because I haven't made a mage yet. Okay. I love the archer, though. <laughs> I really love the archer. I think the mage looks silly. That robe looks really gross. <laughs> the thief looks good, too. I'm a fan of the archer. I really am. Although, vampire, thief, they kind of go together. When you think about it. That might work. But vampire and magic, too. Like, that would go together as well. I just don't like this robe. It's not very flattering. <laughs> it is not very flattering on her at all. It looks kind of gross. But we'll go with it. You like the dual swords? The thief? Yeah, the thief is really cool. And I always love dual swords, dual daggers, um, that kind of thing. So, vampire, I think either thief or mage because of the fact that um, I just think fighting and thieving and that kind of thing and also magic because they're otherworldly creatures, they're myths, they're legends, that kind of thing. Um, but I haven't made a mage. I still have not, uh, you know what, we're gonna go with Thief, fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a Thief. She looks better. She looks better. Yeah, she does. She looks so much better. Okay, we're gonna go with a Thief. Alright, so we gotta go with a voice. <sighs> I think <laughs> I feel like a deeper feminine voice is what she needs. Let's see what else do we have down here? <laughs> Not that deep. Not that deep. No. No. Let's see. I think we'll go with that. two. I'm gonna go with two. Okay. I think we made her. We made her. Look at her. She looks amazing. If I didn't love my main character that I already made so much, I would choose to take her into the game, but she looks awesome. <laughs> she looks awesome. Oh my god. I just, I'm very, I'm very impressed. I am very impressed. I'm gonna take a picture of this. If it lets me. There we go. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to change the lighting. Wow, that looks awesome. That looks amazing! Uh, those other voices were very strong. Yeah. I'm gonna take another picture of that. That looks really good. Okay. 
We're we're good. All right, so now we got to name her. <laughs> What's a good vampire name? I actually write vampire characters. I got a good one. I got a good one. This is the name of a vampire that I have written. Um, she's a bit crazy. She's a bit out there, but she's deadly, and she's she's a she's a cross between someone I know in real life and a couple of fictional characters like Drusilla from Buffy and also Faith from B Buffy. <laughs> so, yeah. There she is. There she is in a video game. Oh my god. She looks awesome. I love it. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I want to do one more with you guys. I want to make a male. But I want to make him a pawn. Uh, and he's going to be a mage. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be a mage. Um, male. I don't know. That one, I guess. <laughs> um, what are some famous mages that we love? We love. Well, we don't really love Anders. We have a love-hate relationship with Anders. Dorian. Oh, we can make Dorian. I don't know if I'll be any good at that, guys. But we can try to make Dorian. Because Dorian is awesome. He is my favorite mage in the entire Dragon Age series. We can make Dorian. Let's try it. Okay. But which face would it be? Which face is his? I don't know. I'm not good at these kinds of things. I'm, I feel like it's this guy right here. He's closer to like to Dorian. I feel. Or this guy. I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho. hi. Hello. Oh, he is nice looking. <laughs> um, it's kind of Dorian or a male Bethany. Now nah, I'm gonna go with Dorian. I'm gonna go with Dorian. I really like this face though. This reminds me of Dorian. Sort of. Or is it this guy? This guy is kind of Dorian too. He's kind of Dorian, but so is he because of the eyeliner. I, I I'll probably end up changing his hair because I'm trying to think of what Dorian's hair is. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Um. I feel like this shape is fine. This is for Dorian. I gotta look at Dorian, guys. Hold on. Cause I gotta I gotta refresh my memory here. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. We got we got Dorian. Okay, okay. Yes, this is a good shape. This is a good Yep, okay. That works. His eyes even work. Holy hell. He does actually look like him. Okay, we're going with him. <laughs> Minus the long bang, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna change that. Um, I hope they have mustaches for the men here. I'm, I'm assuming that they would. Facial hair, yes. Okay. All right, let's, let's. What is his, he's just got a mustache and a tiny, tiny doohickey. But I don't know if they're gonna have his mustache specifically. All right, we gotta bring him down. Wait, no, 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 no. Bring, bring you down just a little bit. That actually, whoa. Actually, that one might work. 
Let's see what else they have, though. Whoops. I keep doing that. There we go. That's Dorian. Although I like the other one. <laughs> you could still see Dorian's lip. So this one might not work. Let's see what else they have. So it doesn't have, so Dorian has a little bit of like hair right here on the, like under the lower lip, but they don't have that option here. I really like this one. Where'd that other one go? But this one also kind of works. Yeah, I kind of like the other one. I really like this one. This one, this one. This one, this one's better. Okay. Um, he has dark hair, so we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave all that. Yeah. Okay. Hairstyle. Alright, we gotta change the hairstyle. Let's see if we can find his hairstyle. No. Definitely not. No. That's a modded hairstyle. <laughs> I've seen Dorian with that in a mod. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to find it. That's probably the closest one, even though I'm not really crazy about that one. That doesn't really scream Dorian. That's probably the closest one, but I don't really like that one. Let's see what 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 is this one? Oh, oh, that's a long hair. Never mind. Oh my god, he looks good. He looks good, but that's not what Dorian's hair looks like. <laughs> that's not... These are not giving me Dorian vibes. This is probably the closest. That's actually the closest. I don't know, guys. We might end up keeping this one because... He has more hair than that, but I'm not finding one... Like, that's too much hair. That one would have been fine, but there's... He doesn't have hair in his face. Not really. I don't know. This isn't this isn't telling me Dorian. This is not Dorian. I don't know if I should change the eyes. <laughs> they're they're more they're they're kind of a hazel. I I don't know how to find hazel in here. I don't even know where hazel would be. Maybe over here? Whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay. That looks really good. <laughs> um...
Wow, look at those eyes. Those are not exactly his eyes, though. He's not, they're, His eyes are not that bright. But that looks really good. <laughs> I'm a... I... It, but I... Mm. Whoa. Yeah, they're more of like a brown and a green together. All right, we're going to go there. Okay. Okay. Eyelashes. He does have some nice eyelashes. So we're just gonna raise the length a little bit. Okay. Uh, he's good. The whatever he's wearing right now is fine. <laughs> um, the eyeliner could probably be a little more because uh, Doriana does have eyeliner. He does have eyeliner. Okay. But it's more of a... Let's see. That. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That works. Okay. All right, mage. Oh, yes. That definitely looks better on him, on a male. That looks so much better on a male, for sure. Oh, yeah. We're going mage. Inclination. Uh, Dorian is straightforward, so we're, that's what we're going to do. He's a candid, flippant, and impulsive. Well, I don't know if he's impulsive. Enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head on. No, that's not him. That's not Dorian. He is flippant, though. And candid. I wouldn't call him calm. Rational, shrewd, and strategizing. Oh, you know what? No, that might work. The calm. Employing clever tactics to survive at all. Yep, okay. That's Dorian. That is definitely Dorian. Okay. Okay. I would, you know, because he's very sarcastic, but he's also very, um, what's the word? He's flamboyant, but that's not the word I'm looking for. He's, he'd rather not fight. He will, and, and he doesn't have a problem fighting, but he'd rather not, especially dragons. He's not, he's not a fan of fighting dragons. <laughs> Um, he's also very clever and smart and everything. So that makes sense. That would make more sense for him. Okay. We got him. We got Dorian. Uh, let's name him Dorian. That was a really good character. Trait. I would, I would argue it's, it's up there with Baldur's Gate three character creator um i i go into a lot of character creators and i would say baldur's gate 3 dragon's dogma 2 and dragon age inquisition was a really good one too um as far as like colors and different and the um the bodies and stuff skyrim's uh character creator 
also let you uh, change your the height of your character, the shape of your character, um, and do all kinds of crazy things with your character. So there's a lot of good character creator uh, out there. Um, but this is one of the best that I've seen. And, uh, you know, it's not perfect. I don't think any of them will ever be really perfect, but it, it, it comes really, really close. So that's how I personally feel about the character creator. <laughs> uh, as far as playing Dragon's Dogma 1, I have been playing it. I do have been, you know, making little recordings here and there. Um... The color red, it, the shades of red are better in Dragon Age Dogma, Dragon's Dogma 2, or 1, I'm sorry, um, in my personal opinion. <laughs> I have a character with red hair and she looks really good. Um, my, probably my biggest pet peeves, and I think it's a lot of people's biggest pet peeves with the Dragon's Dogma games, is um, there are two things that are like a big pet peeve for me. The first is the o you can only have one save. That is an issue for most of us who love to play these games and like to have multiple saves in case we want to go back and redo something. Um, yeah, there's only one save. That is the biggest pet peeve, I think, for me. Um, but I've gotten used to it. Like, you just adapt and you just, like, deal with it. It is what it is. My second biggest pe pet peeve with Dragon's Dogma is the not having a lot of control over who you romance. Or if you choose not to romance anyone at all. There seems to be a forced... Yeah, there's one save. There seems to be a forced thing. Particularly in Dragon's Dogma 1. I haven't beat the game yet, but uh, from what I've seen of other people talking about it... Um... It's based on, like, the person you end up with at the end of the game is based on the last person you talked to or the person you did the most quests for or something like that. I'm not really sure. But it, you, you don't really, like, you can give a ring to somebody, but that's still not a guarantee that they'll be the one that ends up with you at the end of the game. And that is, that, I don't like that at all. I don't, first of all, I want to have control over who I romance. I want to be the one in control of that. I don't want the game to dictate to me who I'm going to romance. Uh, in Dragon's Dogma 2, you literally can romance anybody. It's like NPCs, apparently children as well, which I definitely find to be a huge problem. I do not like that at all. Um... So that's a problem. But has it stopped me from playing the game? No, it hasn't. I still want to see it through. I'm going to finish the game. Hopefully, I'm my goal is to finish the first game before the second one comes out. But, um... Yeah, I mean, those are my two biggest pet peeves. A lot of the positives in Dragon Age... Dra Dragon Age, oh my gosh. Dragon's Dogma is the classes and the combat like those are the greatest things in my opinion i love the combat and i love the i love that you can switch your classes halfway through like you can master one class and then you can either advance it change your class to an advanced more advanced of what you already have or you can change your class completely and just re and just work up to mastering another class i think that's really cool um, I, f I personally find that a lot of fun. So, yeah. Those are the two biggest positives for me in the first game. So, like, and from what I've heard, the second game has more class options. And, uh, there's some hybrid options. Like, there's one that I saw where you can be... I forget what it's called... It's a ma you're a mage, but you're a fighter, I think. I can't remember what the name of the class is called, but it looked really cool. I would highly recommend, if you guys are interested, looking up some Dragon's Dogma 2 videos on YouTube to check out, 
like a lot of people are doing different videos on different classes and um they're really cool they're really cool they're very interesting so yeah anyway i will not be streaming this game anytime soon it's coming out in two weeks i think march 22nd is the release date for the game but i will not be playing it because right now i'm concentrating on baldur's gate 3 and dragon age origins those are the two games that i'm concentrating on right now um but i may play it in the future i don't know if i'll play it this year we'll see i don't know what my schedule is gonna look like <laughs> um I can only focus on a couple games at a time because otherwise I get really overwhelmed and I stress myself out and that's not, that's just not, that's never good. Um, but yeah, so I'm interested. I like it. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a different way to play, but that's what I did with Baldur's Gate 3. Like I had never played a turn-based game before, before Baldur's Gate 3. And... I, when I first started playing during early access, I I did not understand the turn-based mechanics at all and uh, was not ready for it. But then I, when the game released, I tried again and I got more familiar with it and I watched videos and I learned how to do it. And it's just a different way to play for me and I love it. So anyway, that is it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I am hoping to be back here tomorrow with most likely Dragon Age Origins. So um, I still am on a time constriction because of the fact that my other kid's still in school and I got to be done by a certain time. But I, the fact that I have tomorrow available to me is a good thing. So... <laughs> So I hope to see you guys tomorrow and uh, y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.